hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how you can create your own opt-in or lead magnet your own opt-in freebie lead magnet uh yeah so today i'm going to show you how you can create it on canva now um before you can start it you have to have a free canva account um if you have a pro canva account you can also create it but um you have to create an account in canva so i have my account and i'm on my home page right now so depending on what kind of freebie or opt-in you're creating um you would choose the custom size or the size that is already in canva so um an opt-in freebie can be in any format so you can create a video you can create presentations you can create um, an instagram template you can create a logo design or a logo template um or whatever really uh an opt-in is basically something you give in exchange for your subscribers email list um sorry email uh and name so you use this to build your email list um i have a blog post uh, i'm going to put the link down below so you can read up on why it's important to have an opt-in freebie in your business so um today for the example or for today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to create one and i'm going to be creating a us letter sized opt-in so i'm going to come over to create a design and just search for us letter yeah so a new page will open up and then you can decide on what you want to create so let's say for this uh, opt-in it's going to be a checklist um, so I'm just going to show you how you can create a checklist um, for an opt-in right now okay so the first thing you should do when you create your your new page is to name it so you don't get confused so let's say I would say free checklist okay now depending on what you want to do do you want to start from scratch you can go ahead and start from scratch if you want to use um, an already made template you can come over here and go through all the templates that are here look for the one that you love or you like um, you can also get a template from my shop I'll leave a link down below if you want to create get a template from my shop but today I'm going to show you how you can pick from the templates here in Canva so let's just go through all the templates we have here and see what we like okay so for the cover page let's do something fun something creative let's see what do we like here um you know what let me use this I don't know I like it I like the different tones okay so um, you can then change the color of the change the color to the colors of your brand so for this one I have my brand colors here so I'm just going to replace it with ooh, let's see i think i'll use this yeah and then the color at the back i'll use this color yeah and then this one i think i'll use this three colors ooh, they look nice okay so 
just you know play around with it see what works for you so let's say i'll say free checklist free checklist all right just let me know how to spell <laughs> okay i'm going to reduce the size a bit you can reduce the size by clicking on the number here and selecting the number of your choice or you can just drag one of the sides one of the corners of um, the text box so um, i think i'll just bring it back here i think this is good um what next uh i'm going to delete this arrow I don't like it then let's change this to my website Size of it and bring it all the way down. Okay. Mm. Do I like this? Oh, this this good. Maybe I should lighten this a bit. How about that? And also change the transparency of this a bit okay so the text pop up okay so we have our cover let's go to the next page so you know that um if you need to create a next page you come up by to this to this icon here you can see add page and then you click on it i'm going to change the color it automatically um, usually will automatically come with the color of the previous page so in order to change it you click on the color here and then change it to whatever you want I'm changing it back to white so we'll come back to the templates right at your left side um, let's search for checklist and see what comes up Ooh, okay so we have some checklists here and um, depending on what you have um, what account you have if you have a pro account or if a free account you won't be able to use the um, the templates that are labeled pro but you have access to the free versions so all these ones are free you can see free at the bottom so yeah you can use all of this so let's see what we can do here okay let's say we are creating a checklist what kind of checklist do we want to create okay so this is let's use this no i don't like this let's look for something else okay let's use this okay so you just click on it and it will come over here and and then you know you change your brand colors so if you want to change your brand color there's a shortcut to it once you click on um the elements that you need to change the color to let's say you want to change the color of this you come here and then you click on the color and then i want to change it to this purple so i click on it and then at the bottom you can see change all of this color to this new color then you click on it and it would automatically change that color to that I'm going to do it to the next one so I'm just going to change everything all right and then uh, let's change this one as well change all so that's great I'm going to do that for the text box boxes as well and all the boxes are changed so that's how you can quickly change I think I want to use this color.
color yeah i like this color so that's how you can quickly change um change the colors of a template to match your brand temp um, colors right so we have created that let's create a you know page with text and words in it so um we can do let's see let me look for chapter uh, okay so we have this uh, oh, you know what let's create this from scratch so i'll come over to the text icon right here and click on added heading uh, so this will be my subtitle center that and as you move you'd see these lines these are guide guidelines another trick you can do is you come over to L and you'd have show ruler show guides show margin if you click on show margin it shows you the margin of your paper or of your page so that you can you can be able to align your words well so i use that a lot when i need to create templates so another um another trick here is if you on your keyboard type uh type t you would create a new text box so I'm just going to put this text box here. Uh, change it to 14. Oof, no, 14 is really small. Let's do 32. I'm just going to come over here and look for dummy text. Uh, I'm just going to look for a dummy text so that we can. You can add that so all right so this is the dummy text i'm going to select everything and copy come back here all right so i'm just going to arrange it if my cursor will allow me <laughs> all right it's crazy if you need to change the font you click on this font and then you can choose um, canva has quite a lot of fonts and many of them are google fonts so you can select from any of the fonts here um, i'm going to use Montserrat Montserrat right and I'm going to reduce the size to 18 I'm going to align it and make sure it's within I'm going to create a new And you have created it if you need to duplicate your text box uh, once you click on it you press the alt key and drag down and you've created another one so that's how you so let's say we have created the first you know you can align that you can do this let's align them on both sides uh 
change the color of this to something else uh, let's you know give this some cool look so I'm just going to copy this and paste it somewhere here uh, duplicate that bring it here it gives it some let's do that for this as well mm, do something like that here uh, rotate it okay so this is how you can create the page you can take off the margin so you can see how it looks so we have our next page and so that's how you continue for the rest if you need to duplicate this page just click on the duplicate page and then you continue to create so once you're done creating your opt-in or your freebie you come over to download and print in pdf now this is depending on what type of opt-in if you are creating a um a picture you would obviously be using png or jpeg um canva would always show you we always suggest the best option for you so you have that taken care of if it's a video obviously you'll be downloading either an ep4 format or if you're creating a gif then you'll be using gif for me i'm going to be creating using pdf standard because it's small size so it will be easy to um the size won't be large but if you're going to be printing this out then you'll be using the pdf print for it so that you can have a high quality image for this i'm just going to be using pdf standard and then i'll be selecting the four pages if you need to omit one of the pages you can click on the ones you want to download but if you want to download all of them you then just click on the all pages and then you can select all of them click on done and click on download and your ebook will be downloaded Im immediately so if you need to learn how to create a clickable workbook i have a video up already i'm going to link it also so that you can learn how you can convert your pdf to a clickable pdf where your subscribers can type into the pdf their answers and if they need to return it to you you would be able to see the answers in the pdf so i'm going to leave that video up for you um so yeah this is how you can create your own opt-in check out the blog for more tips and tricks on what you can do to create your pdf um or your opt-in and i hope you learned something new um if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe and share this video have a great day bye